Hi friends, I am CN Jalota. Welcome to the MCQs from Board of Studies for this video. We have covered every possible question from the module. Time for us to be doing every possible question from the Board of Studies portal of the Institute. Our attempt is to be covering everything and that is whatever we have been doing from last so many months. There hasn't been a day whereby we have not put the MCQs. Uh, just two things. In case you wish to be enrolling for a complete course, link is there in the description. Second, uh, any doubts that you might be having that requires our attention, you can please uh, feel free to communicate to us on our telegram ID at the rate AJNext. Let's start off. We are on to chapter number two. Chapter number two is modern business environment. And the question for today is Medicare produces specialized medical equipment used by a number of medical practitioners. It has identified critical success factors. Customers should find zero defects with the medical equipment. Aim for zero defective save units. Okay. So those guys are saying like, you know, that we should have zero defects. That is our critical success factor. Critical success factor means aim. Okay. That is our goal. So we should have zero defectives with the medical equipments that we manufacture. Okay. The critical success factor identified above aims to reduce which of the following cost of quality to very minimum. Okay. Now cost of quality is in four parts. I guess those must be the four options also. One of them is cost of external failure, then cost of uh, internal failure, then preventive cost and lastly appraisal cost. See, we want zero defective units. Okay. So therefore there should not be any returns from the customer. Let me describe you all these costs starting from the last one. Appraisal cost. Appraisal costs are part of cost of good quality. These are the costs that we incur once a product is produced. Example, once a product is produced, we get it inspected. That is appraisal cost. What do you mean by preventive cost? First of all, this is also part of good quality only. These are the costs that helps you to prevent bad quality. Example, uh, giving training to the workers. This helps you to prevent any defective units. So therefore, third and fourth are part of cost of good quality. You need to be spending these costs more. Sir, why? So therefore, you can decrease cost of bad quality. Cost of bad quality is further in two parts. You have cost of internal failure and you have cost of external failure. What is cost of internal failure? This cost is part of cost of bad quality. This you incur inside your factory. It could be like, you know, scrap. It could be in this case, uh, say the rework. Rework means you produced certain goods, but they were not up to the mark. You are spending more and rectifying them. That is called as rework. These are the costs, okay, that you incur within the factory. These are incurred because you have bad quality. And then you have cost of external failure. Cost of external failure is what? We sold the goods to the customer, but then he didn't like it. He sent it back to us. That is loss for us, beta. That product cost that we incurred on that good, that has gone now. Why? Because the goods was returned. So therefore now we will uh, throw them. Or it could be, say one more example, say a warranty related cost. We gave a warranty of one year that if anything happens in one year, we will replace it with a new product. Now we sold the goods, something went wrong. So therefore that customer returned the goods to us. So now we will manufacture one more good unit and sell it to him. Okay, obviously free of cost. So therefore cost of manufacturing that you new unit will become our cost. Apart from that, the logistics cost, we need to send that product to him. So therefore that will also become our cost. So it was that we want to have zero defective sale units. Okay, so therefore this will be shown in which cost? Obviously this will be shown in cost of external failure. Okay, why? Because we want to be having zero defective sale units. So therefore there should not be any returns from the customer. Returns from the customer means it is nothing but cost of external failure. Cost that is incurred once a product is sold. Okay, so therefore correct answer in this case should be one. Uh, this is ICA's uh, explanation which I have covered. So therefore answer should be one. That is the correct answer. That's it for today. I'll see you all in the next lecture. Uh, this is the QR code for the playlist of all the questions from the modules of SCPM. 
and just one thing just because you are doing ca that doesn't mean that you do not do anything else concentrate on your health okay concentrating on your health ensures that you are physically and mentally fit to be taking on this challenging course so take care of your health guys i'll see you all in the next lecture bye